there's been some major revelations regarding the huge controversy that happened yesterday in Pet Simulator 99. Just when I thought all the drama was over and everybody was giving their input on what should have been done or if they agree with what had been done, we got a brand new video from Alpha GG, who is a partner with Big Games and a huge member of the Pet Simulator 99 community. In this video, we're going to talk about what Alpha said and the brand new details that we got surrounding the case, as well as some other insights that I have about the situation. If you do end up enjoying this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. We cover all sorts of stuff regarding Pet Simulator 99 here on the channel, so if you want the most up-to-date information about what's going on in the game, you should definitely be subscribed. Let's get right into it though, because you're going to want to hear what Alpha GG had to say. Let me just start off by saying that this video is purely informative and my only intention from this video is to let you guys know about what is happening and educating you guys so that you can make these choices for yourselves on what to think. Personally, I am not a partner with big games, so I am not obligated to defend them in any way. All of this stuff that I'm going to talk about is just from my perspective and how I've interpreted things. I'll have a link to Alpha's video in the description so you guys can go watch it for yourself. But to start off, it turns out Alpha was the one that was able to connect the group of exploiters to the developers so that they could report this issue. Alpha claimed in this video that the devs said themselves that there has never been a dupe in Pet Simulator 99 and they don't think there ever will be. If you didn't know, the exploit turned out to be a way that these cheaters could go ahead and force the server to somehow let them open up about 50 tech chests at a time and for absolutely free. So they didn't need to use a key or anything. And that's why the exploit allowed them to get a ton of those huge cyber agonies. Besides the huge cyber agony, there's a lot of other stuff that you can get inside of the tech chest. Include the chest bell, which is a super rare ultimate. That's pretty much one of the best ultimates in the game right now, along with the hidden treasure ultimate. So there is a super rare chance to get this from the tech chest. So I'm sure the exploiters got a ton of these too, but that's not all from the tech chest. Do you get pretty much everything that's in the game, but there's just a super small chance to get it. One of those major things that they could have got are these boost slot vouchers as well as these pinatas. So a couple of the points that Alpha made in this video are that these guys did not use the exploit, that they reported it straight to the devs, and any of the stuff that they did get from abusing this exploit, they aren't allowed to sell. Alpha also did make a point to say that these guys could have just used this dupe to duplicate all sorts of stuff like Titanic's huges, all the other very expensive things that do exist in Pet Simulator 99. But as I explained to you guys before, this exploit wasn't a dupe and these guys had no way of actually duplicating this kind of stuff. So I don't really know what Alpha was really talking about in this video. We could probably just chalk this up to him just not being informed about what's going on because obviously there was no actual dupe glitch. This was just a glitch for them to abuse the tech chest. Alpha then goes ahead to basically make the argument that if Big Games doesn't incentivize these people to explain how they do these exploits, then they could have been using them to detrimentally hurt the economy of the game and cause all sorts of issues. Now, I'll talk about this in a second, but I don't necessarily disagree with this statement, but I still think this is wrong in a way. Now, up to the point in this video, there's nothing really wrong here. He's just kind of giving his opinion on what happened. And the fact that he connected them with the devs is overall a good thing so that the economy didn't crash and they were able to fix it before it got too bad, I guess. He then says he's not really on anybody's side here and that he's completely unbiased in the situation, which, to be honest, is kind of funny. It's a funny statement. The issue I found with this video is the next part of the video where he explains how he got compensated for connecting these guys with the developers. I'll have the trades up on the screen here, but this is all the stuff that he did get from the exploiters, basically because he connected the exploiters with the developers so that they were able to get the rainbow shiny titanic rewards that we talked about yesterday. As you guys can see, this is a lot of value that Alpha got from connecting these guys to the developers. Now I wanna show you guys one of these trades in particular. I'll have it on the screen even bigger. As you see in this trade from Obscures, Alpha received almost 20 of these huge cyber agonies as well as 31,000 boost slots and a ton of pinatas. 
The booth slot vouchers in this trade alone are worth over 4 billion diamonds at their current price, which is insane. That is a ton of booth slot vouchers. But basically what this trade proves is that the exploiters did use this exploit themselves to gain quite a bit because they have all of these items from opening that tech chest. All of these things in the trade can clearly be identified as coming from that tech chest. So Alpha is basically getting all of these exploited items from the cheaters for connecting them with the devs. In my personal opinion, it seems kind of shameless to take these exploited items from those cheaters. But on top of all of this, there is another issue with this trade. If you remember earlier in the video, I said that Alpha stated that these guys were not allowed to sell any of the exploited huges or items that they got from using this exploit which means all of those cyber agonies and all of the boost slot vouchers, pinatas, whatever these guys got from exploiting the tech chest should have just been kept in their inventory so that nobody could sell it and they couldn't profit off of it. But after Alpha uploaded this video, you could see this picture on the screen here of Alpha's booth selling all of these exploited items in the trading plaza. So even though these guys weren't allowed to sell these exploited items, they gave them to Alpha, who's basically selling them for himself. So basically, who knows how many people these guys have given these exploited huges to, as well as any other exploited items. As you guys know, the tech chest has a lot of different things in it, and since they exploited it so hard for at least a day or two, they could potentially have billions and billions of these excess items and they could crash the market with it if that's what they end up wanting to do. Now in this video, Alpha is claiming that these guys just reported the exploit when they learned about it and that's why they deserve these rainbow shiny huges and that he's on nobody's side. But it looks like he got some very good compensation for connecting these guys. And on top of that, he is a big games partner. So that could create some bias. Now, I'm not trying to just hate on Alpha here. This is just what I've interpreted from the situation and from what I've seen from his video. I encourage you guys to watch the video for yourselves so you can come to these conclusions. Obviously, we have not gotten a statement from Big Games regarding the situation yet. So until we get that statement, we can only go off of the facts that we know so far. And most of it is just word of mouth and what we've heard. Now, I do want to clarify that personally, I don't think it's a bad thing that these guys were compensated for letting these guys know about this exploit. It is very clear that this exploit could have crashed the Pet Simulator 99 economy very bad and caused a lot of issues for the game itself. So the fact that this was able to be resolved without that happening is a huge deal. The problem in my book with this issue is what they gave them. I think the vast majority of the community agrees that they should be compensated, but they think the compensation should come as some sort of monetary benefit. So some money to the guys that reported it because this is the responsibility of big games to protect the game from stuff like this. So this is stuff that the developers should have protected anyways. So why are they giving them something that affects the in-game market for us and hurts the economy as a whole? We've also been able to see some of the offers that they've been getting for these crazy one of one Titanics. And some of them are in the upper 90 Titanic range, which is insane. That is so much value that they got for giving this information out. But I'm not sure if I fully believe that these guys are innocent because from what it seems like, it looks like they did abuse it quite a bit. Clearly from the items that they gave Alpha in this video, we could see that they did use this exploit quite a bit and have quite a few items that would contradict what Alpha said about these guys. In the gaming industry, it is very common to compensate people who find bugs and exploits like this, but the compensation is often just money that they get or something cool in the game, not something that is one of one in a game that is centered around trading. It's just really bad taste, especially from a group of people that benefited so greatly from using this exploit. Again, we just don't know what else they gave to other people because clearly they gave Alpha some of these exploited items. That's where the issue could get really sticky. Now, up to this point, this is all of the information that I know. And I just want to let you guys know that you guys should be forming opinions for yourself. Go watch Alpha's video and see if what I said makes sense to you. Do not send hate towards him or any other member of the community. This video was just made to be as informative as possible. 
Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation and if you think big games handled this the right way and what you think the future of Pet Simulator 99 is going to look like. If you want updates on this situation and basically everything else that's happening in Pet Simulator 99, you're going to want to be joined up on my Discord. Link is down in the description below. It's free. We just have the most reliable and consistent news relating to Pet Simulator 99 in there. So if that sounds interesting to you, you guys should be joined up. If this video was helpful, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.